Hey, uh, this is Greg Peckman with the Peckman Team Hancock Mortgage here. Yes, I'm sitting on the couch here. I'm supposed to be elevating my leg. Just got back from the office, elevating the leg for a little bit more before I hop back on a computer. But just some stats for people who are concerned about, uh, who are trying to make this comparison to 13, 14 years ago, which is so far-fetched. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, and people are comparing it to that. You got to remember, and I did a post about this about two months ago. Uh, and got a lot of people commenting on it. Basically, people are comparing it to 13 years ago when everybody, including a dead person, can get a mortgage. You could fog a mirror and not just get one, but get two or three mortgages. This is completely different, uh, completely different time right now. And let me give you some more stats in just basically the same deal, but it's, it's more detailed. So we are three to four million homes short right now, okay? Which means that basically it's gonna take six to eight years for us to catch up. That's 500,000 homes plus per year for us to catch up, okay? So just keep that in mind. We got the inventory that's gonna be low. Now I'm not saying there's some other factors that are gonna come in from left field, but to make this comparison, so to hear, yes, me too, Dina, to, to have this comparison of 13 years ago when everybody and their grandmother who was been passed away for 20 years already can get a mortgage is completely asinine. So it's supply and demand, okay? It's a high demand, a very low supply. So that's basic economics here. And right now we are so far behind the curve and it's gonna take 500, it's gonna take a half a million homes at least per year to hit that number in six to eight years, okay? And some, some people, which I respect in the industry, which is freaking brilliant, they're saying we're five million plus short right now. So keep this in mind. I said this last time too. Each decade, if you take 19, uh, 1980 to 1990, 1990 to, 19, to 2000, 2000, 2010, those, those three decades, an average homes being built in each decade was roughly around 25 million, okay? So, and basically 25 million. So from 2010 to 2020, that's when, it, you know, post crash or right in the middle of the crash until 2020, just under 7 million homes were being built. We are so far behind in building an inventory right now that it's going to, it's going to continue. So, you know, anybody who says this, I mean, just counteract this with numbers and yes, things can happen. An asteroid can hit us. We can blow up and everything can go to crap. I get all that, but stop just saying it like a robot and understand basic economics, which is supply and demand. Very simple. I know they don't teach that probably in school anymore, but it's pretty freaking simple. Supply, there's not enough of it. There's an extremely high demand, which means that's going to continue until that supply levels come up. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. I know real estate agents are pulling their hair out because they're hearing the same monotone robotic response every freaking time out there. Uh, just hang in there. If you need any help, just comment down below. Shoot me a private message on Facebook or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great night, everybody.